I entered the dense woods with a sense of adventure pulsating through my veins. The thrill of exploration consumed me as I stepped further into the unknown. Each step I took seemed to bring me closer to unraveling the secrets hidden within the lush foliage. Little did I know that my curiosity would lead me down a treacherous path, one that would test my very survival. As I ventured deeper into the wilderness, my eyes caught sight of a small, rustic cabin nestled among the towering trees. It stood there, shrouded in mystery, beckoning me to unlock its secrets. Intrigued, I made my way towards it, unaware of the horrors that lay within. With a mixture of trepidation and anticipation, I pushed open the creaky door and stepped into the dimly lit interior. The air was heavy with an eerie silence, broken only by the rustling of leaves outside. A chill ran down my spine, but I pushed aside my unease and continued to explore. Suddenly, the door swung shut with a loud thud, leaving me in darkness. Panic gripped my heart as I fumbled for a light source. Before I could find one, footsteps resonated from outside, growing louder with each passing moment. Fear surged through me as I realized that someone was returning to the cabin, and that someone was not friendly. Frantically, I searched for an escape route, my heart pounding in my chest. Just as I located a small window, the door burst open, revealing a man with a twisted smile. His eyes gleamed with madness, and I knew then that I had stumbled upon the abode of a deranged killer. Without a second thought, I dashed towards the window, crashing through it with a loud shatter. My body propelled itself forward as adrenaline surged through my veins. Behind me, I could hear the man's maniacal laughter as he gave chase. The forest blurred into a chaotic whirlwind of colors and sounds as I sprinted through the undergrowth. My lungs burned with each breath, but I refused to let exhaustion claim me. I had to survive. I had to make it out alive. Branches scraped against my skin, leaving a trail of scratches as I maneuvered through the labyrinth of trees. Fear propelled me forward, and I could sense the madman closing in on me. His chilling laughter echoed through the night, sending shivers down my spine. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, I burst out of the woods, stumbling onto an open field. Desperation urged me to push further, to keep running until I was far away from this nightmare. With every ounce of strength left in me, I sprinted towards the distant lights of civilization. As I collapsed, gasping for breath, the realization of my narrow escape settled upon me. I had faced the horrors lurking within those woods and emerged victorious. The scars on my body were reminders of my resilience, my will to survive. From that day forward, the woods held a different meaning for me. They were no longer a place of adventure and discovery, but a haunting reminder of the dangers that could lurk in the shadows. But I carried on, forever changed by my encounter with the madman, grateful for the precious gift of life that had been spared.